Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.54 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the Thevenin equivalent between terminals AB of the circuit of figure 4.120. So this is the figure and we are asked to find out about Thevenin equivalent circuit. So I think the first thing that we need to do is to find out the Thevenin open circuit voltage or VTH in this case is equal to VAD okay and then the second one I don't want to directly find the Thevenin resistance because we have a dependent current source so that will be making things difficult so I want to find the Norton current first and after that we can get the Norton resistance so we will have the Thevenin voltage divided by the Norton current that is not Norton resistance but Thevenin resistance but they are the same actually the same value so let's start by doing number one which is finding VTH let's do exactly that find VTH or in this case we find out VAD and let's set the bottommost node here as our ground so the voltage here will be zero therefore this will be equal to VA because VB is zero okay that is good now this is one kilo ohm let's write that as 1000 so we don't get confused about uh, unit conversion and let's start by doing kvl at this node here and this is i0 right so let's do kvl at i0 kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero good now let's start from this three volt voltage source the current flowing from the negative side to the positive side so we'll have minus three and then plus I will have 1000 ohm so we'll have 1000 then multiplied by I0 and then plus I will have 2Vx here so we'll have 2Vx and all of that will equal to 0 however we still need to find out what is Vx here okay what is Vx okay let's make another loop here and I just follow the direction of this current source and that loop is exactly 40i0 40i0 because that is will be the same as this current here right and consequently we will have our Vx Vx is equal to 50 multiplied by the current that passed through it but it comes from the negative side so I'll have negative value here so I'll have minus 40i0 times 50 so we will have vx is equal to minus 2000 i0 okay but we are not finding i0 we need to find out what vx is right why because vx is equal to vad so vx is equal to vad and therefore Vx is equal to Va but then our Va is the Thevenin voltage so we need to solve it for Vx so I just want to rearrange this as I0 is Vx over 2000 but that is minus here okay good now let's plug that into this equation so I have minus 3 plus 1000 i0 so we will have minus vx and then divided by 2000 okay and then plus 2vx and that will equal to 0 this will cancel into 2 and so I will have 2Vx minus 1 half of Vx. That will be 3 over 2Vx. 
and let's move this minus t to the right hand side so i will have 3 there and so we'll have px here is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 therefore px is equal to this will cancel out so we'll have 2 volt okay but then remember that px is equal to va so va is this value but then va is also the tevenin voltage so we'll have the tevenin voltage here is equal to 2 volt and actually that is a good result here let's save this result Okay, and let's clean up the board and let's move on to step number two, which is finding the Norton current. Okay, the next thing that we need to find out is IN here. Okay, I'm making this also this up. Okay, so we need to find out IN. Find IN, and that is a short circuit current in. AD. So we need to find out this one here, which is IN. And because this is shorted, all the current will pass through this one. So we can get that. We can get this this 50 ohm as open circuit, right? So we'll have open circuit here. Okay, and remember that we have this Vx here, but then Vx is shorted, so that is the difference between not A and not B, but that means that Vx is equal to zero, right? So Vx is equal to zero, and then what does that mean? That means that is this one is also zero, so 2Vx here is also zero. So we have zero volt here. But then a voltage source with the value of zero that is equal to short circuit. Okay. So we can replace this by short circuit. Okay, let's do exactly that. So we will have this as short circuit here. And now from this we can find out i0 okay what is i0 i0 is 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm and that will be i0 is equal to 3 3 milliampere okay 3 milliampere and then this current here that is going down but this is will be going up there so we know that I n there, I n, I n is equal to minus 40 I 0. And what is minus 40 I 0? We will have minus 40 multiplied by 3. And so we'll have I n that will be minus 120. And the unit will be in milliampere. Okay, that is good. And now, what can we do from here? We need to find out the Tevenin resistance here. And that will equal to Vth divided by In. Vth is 2, and then In is minus 120. This will be in volt, and this will be in milliampere, so the Rth should be in kilo ohm. So, we will have minus 2 divided by 120. And that is good. So, I will have minus 0 0.016. Okay, minus 0 0.016. Maybe make it like this. And here the unit is kilo ohm. Or we can make this in ohm. So I will have minus 16.67 mega ohm. 
no ohm yeah that should be the case for the circuit so we can we can calculate we can draw the thevenin equivalent circuit which is 2 volt and then this will be minus 16.67 ohm and this is terminal a and that is terminal b and that is the answer for this question thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye